The Ibizan Hound is a slender, long-legged sighthound that belongs to the hunting group. They are a somewhat low-key version of a greyhound with a slim and muscular build. Flexible and racy, the Ibizan possesses the power of a hunter combined with a deer-like elegance. These hounds, also known as breezers by their fans, have excellent jumping and running capabilities. Regardless of whether you want your dog to compete in lure coursing or simply want a wonderful companion, this could be the right breed for you. Your Ibizan will walk or run with you, love you, and always make you laugh. Now without further ado, let's get right into our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Ibizan Hound. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Ibizan owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these incredible dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History The Ibizan Hound's origin traces back to approximately 3400 BC. They hail from the Spanish Balearic Islands of Ibiza in the Mediterranean Sea. The Ibizan Hound shares the same roots as the Pharaoh Hound, bearing uncanny resemblance to the dogs depicted in Egyptian tombs and to the jackal of God Anubis. But how did an Egyptian Hound look alike end up miles away in the Spanish island? Well, it is believed that ancient Phoenician sea traders may have taken the dogs to the Balearic Islands of Ibiza, where they remained in relative seclusion. The merchants settled there as early as 8th century BC and used Ibizan Hounds for hunting animals. Ibizan hounds saw many rulers through the ages, coming under the auspices of the Egyptians, Carthaginians, Romans, Vandals, Arabs, and most recently, Spanish. Spanish farmers on the island used the hounds for hunting. With little outside influence, the breed remained uncontaminated by crosses to other breeds. The hard conditions on the island imposed stringent selection by islanders because only best rabbit hunters could be allowed to procreate or, for that matter, survive. These factors produced a hardy, true breeding dog. The harsh condition also led a life that shaped the dogs to hunt with skill, tenacity, and patience. The first Ibizan hound came to America in the 1950s and the breed was officially recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1978. Number 2. Their Appearance As we said before, Ibizan hounds are similar to greyhounds in appearance. These dogs have a racy build, which is why they are slightly longer than tall. A lithe build enables the breed to perform a double suspense and gallop with great speed, agility, and endurance. Their exceptional large ears and long, narrow heads show striking resemblance with Egyptian god Anubis. The large, mobile ears of Ibizan hounds are also indicative of their super sense of hearing, which makes them excellent guard dogs. The breed generally has long, slender legs with narrow waist, but these dogs have some unusual traits for a sighthound. Their chest is not really deep, the gait is relatively high, the shoulder angles are not predominantly acute, and the tail is usually carried high in the back. A male Ibizan hound stands 23 to 27 inches and weighs around 50 pounds, while a female is 22 to 26 inches tall and weighs around 45 pounds. Number 3. Their real strength is in jumping The Ibizan is an excellent jumper, able to spring the great heights from a standstill. Because they can jump incredibly high, you might want to invest in a tall fence than a short one. It takes at least 6-foot fence to confine them to a yard. Their ability to jump high from a standstill makes Ibizans notorious as counter-surfers. So never trust them alone with food, no matter how out of the way you think they are. Agile and racy, these hounds are also incredibly graceful and light on their feet, making it easier for them to jump, even in rough terrains. Number 4. Ibizans were primarily bred for hunting Spanish farmers mainly used Ibizan hounds for hunting purpose in the Balearic Islands. Because of little or no influence in the island, there was no cross-breeding, which is why these dogs remained true breeding hounds. These breezers can run on various types of landscapes using their sight, scent, and sound. The farmers and hunters preferred running these dogs in mostly female packs because female Ibizan hounds were known to be better hunters. In the US, these dogs often compete in lure coursing. Some parts of the country also use them for straight racing, oval track racing, and even coursing live prey like jackrabbits. Because these hounds were primarily bred for hunting, they have a strong prey drive. They will chase anything that moves quickly, so Ibizans cannot be trusted off leash unless they are in a fenced yard. Number 5. Their Temperament Ibizan hounds are active, intelligent, and also entertaining by nature. They are considered to be very true clowns of the dog world, and they are often found entertaining their owners with their tricks and antics. These hounds can also be quiet at times, but are known to bark when necessary, which is why they make good watchdogs. Given their high prey drive, Ibizan hounds need early socialization. This includes exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences, especially when they're young. Socialization helps ensure that your Ibizan puppy grows up to a well-rounded dog. Enrolling them in a puppy kindergarten class is a great start. Inviting visitors over regularly and taking them to busy parks, stores that allow dogs, and on leisurely strolls to meet neighbors will also help polish their social skills. Number 6. Their Overall Health Ibizan hounds are healthy breeds and they usually live between 12 to 14 years. Since dogs belonging to the hound group are less prone to any hereditary illness, you can rarely diagnose any genetic disease in your breezer. 
However, as with many other pets, you might want to be concerned about some health conditions like allergies and seizures, although these are very unlikely to occur in Ibis and hounds. Other health conditions like cataract, retinal dysplasia, axonal dystrophy, and deafness can also be seen in some of these dogs. When it comes to their dietary health, male Ibis and hounds may develop poor appetites when they're adolescents. Encourage them to eat, but don't go overboard with food bribes, elaborate meals, or hand feeding. If you do, you'll simply end up with a picky eater. To get a healthy dog, it is recommended that you never buy a puppy from irresponsible breeders, puppy mills, or pet stores that don't provide health clearances. Look for a reputable breeder who tests their breeding dogs to make sure that they're free of genetic diseases that they might pass on to the puppies and that they have sound temperaments. Number 7. Their Coat and Grooming Requirements The elegant and racy body of the Ibiz and Hound has a coat that is usually short and close. The breed comes in smooth and wire-coated varieties, both of which are easy to maintain. These breezers with wire coats have a harsh texture and their fur is about 1-3 to three inches longer than smooth-coated ones. They're usually found in a color combination of red or fawn with or without white patterns. Some hounds also exhibit coats that are almost completely white with few red spots. And when it comes to their grooming, you need to occasionally brush your breezer to remove loose hair and keep their coat silky, shiny, and healthy. Number 8. They need a lot of positive reinforcements Ibis and hounds are smart enough to remember what earns them a reward. Therefore, you might need to use a lot of positive reinforcement techniques while training them. For starters, you can begin with praise, play, and food rewards. You might also want to have short and front training sessions so that your Ibis and won't get bored and lose interest. And they often have a habit of zoning out when the training sessions are repetitive. These dogs are also found ignoring their masters for that matter. If you train your Ibis and correctly, they'll be eager and enthusiastic students. But if your teaching methods are harsh or boring, these sensitive dogs will refuse to respond to you. Crate training is also recommended for this breed as an aid to house training and to prevent your Ibis and puppy or adolescent from getting into mischief when you're not around to supervise. Remember that they have a slender body with little fat or padding, so you need to provide a cushion for their crate. Otherwise, your Ibis and might find their quarters uncomfortable. Number 9. They need regular exercise Ibis and hounds are an athletic breed, which is why they'll need daily exercise in a safe area. Challenging their athleticism with tricky and engaging games will definitely help your breezer to stay physically and mentally fit. You can also exercise them with 20 or 30 minute walks or jogs daily. Or you might as well want to give these hounds a chance to run full out in a large and safely fenced area. This way, your breezer can stretch their physique properly. But be careful not to exercise puppies too much until they reach maturity. The general rule is 5 minutes for every month of age. That is, a 5-month-old puppy should receive no more than 25 minutes of exercise per day. Number 10. They're good family dogs Ibis and hounds are fairly known for the gentle side. They love to be pampered and will probably curl up with you in the couch. They're also sensitive dogs, which is why they'll do fine around children and other dogs alike. But having these hounds might not be a good idea for families who have small pets. The strong prey drive of the breed is somewhat hard for them to resist. Ibis and hounds will also do well in apartments if they're adequately exercised. With their family, the breed is even-tempered, affectionate, and loyal. Alright folks, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Ibis and Hound. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these adorable hounds, let us know about their unique traits in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and share it with your friends and family as well. For more interesting facts on different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.